Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about a special, very topic, and we're going to be covering jab buffers. A lot of people have been actually coming to me about this, and I understand that it's very common to mislead this concept. So somebody messaged me on Facebook, and they personally asked me, they personally asked me, getting a little tongue-tied, I apologize. They asked me, anyone got a trick to execute those quick jab combos with more ease? And you know what? With me being the person I am, I reached out to him. I was like, are you talking about the jab buffers, Mr. Young Whippersnapper? And then he went into a nice body of a uh, message and he went on to explain. Or like quick jab to her butt smash. Kind of like quick glimpse at it, but I already knew he was referring back to G, even though he said her. But it's obvious that he's getting crouching jab to wheel kicks. Like he's getting a bunch of input errors that he's not trying to get. Basically with that being said, I told him, I'm glad you gave me this idea, bro, because I'm getting ready to make a video on it. Because a lot of people then came to me asking about this. So shout outs to Mr. Bennett Mac Martin. That is the young whippersnapper that gave me this video idea. There are three ways that I know about that you can get the jab buffers to work. Two out of the three I enjoy using. Third one, you can do it, but of course, with training, with practice, you can make anything happen. But me personally, I don't like using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this with G because I feel like G is a very strong character that definitely excels. And when I say excels, I mean he excels at jab buffers. You can't jab buffer, then G may not be G. We're gonna demonstrate on Seth because nobody likes Seth, right? All right. Seth. Come and show me What's up, future? I see you. Bye. All right, so I don't really want to talk nobody's head off. Nobody really likes a person that likes to talk a lot. So three common ways, just like I said it, right? Three common ways to get jab buffers. One, I want to go ahead and show the most idiotic one, which I don't really prefer, but it is an option, so I'm going to just throw it out there. So if y'all want to pay attention to my actual inputs that's on the left side of the screen, please do so. The common way of doing a jab buffer is obvious. You have to input forward, down, forward, forward. That is the dragon motion input for these uh, jab buffers to come out. So the first route that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually turn first attack, okay. So the first one, holding down back, and as you're holding down back, you wanna hit jab, and then quickly do the actual input for the jab buffer, which is tedious to me, because with Street Fighter V being easy as it is, you shouldn't wanna do it this way, because you're coming from down back, and then now you're trying to actually jab and then do the full input the dragon motion which is actually too much if you ask me like even so like i truly don't like this because i feel like i'm doing too many inputs to come from down back and then come forward to do the full dragon motion input so for me that's too many inputs so the pros to this is that you're actually guarding right you're guarding while in neutral your defense is up cons to this is i feel like your hand is going to be doing like a bunch of gymnastics coming from down back and now you're coming forward down back again to another forward and then you gotta hit your punch again after the first initial jab. It's honestly too many inputs. And then you gotta be fast with it. So keep that in mind also. Like you have to be way too fast in order to do it like that. And I mess it up every time cause I don't feel like I should have to input this many inputs to get that. So if y'all wanna do it that way, that's fine. So that's route number one. So route number two is actually holding forward. So if you do it this way, you're already inputting the first input of the dragon motion. And at this point, all you have to do is an actual fireball and you get the input. The pros to this is that you only have to do a fireball action in order to get this to come out. That's all you have to do. All you have to do is a fireball because you're already inputting the first input. So now a fireball after a jab is all you need in order to get that to come out. So the pros to this is that now you're not working hard. You're gonna get it as soon as you do it. The cons to this is that your defense is down. So if you're going against a character like Balrog, Bison, or any character with a forward momentum move, it's a chance of them catching you off guard because now it may look like you're blocking to them, but really and truly you're not blocking. You're actually buffering, but they won't be able to tell. But you know, you know that you're blocking. Well, no, I'm sorry, you know that you're not blocking. You're actually buffering. So that's route number two. Route number three, which is actually my favorite one, and I feel like a lot of people actually overlooked it. But really and truly, if y'all ever pay attention to how people moving back and forth in neutral, like doing all this, they're actually buffering. And y'all may have never even took that into consideration. They're actually buffering. Because every time you go to move forward, you're buffering. But you may have never noticed that. The moment you move forward, you're already inputting the first input. So now all you have to do is hit fireball, just like that. For all this, 
coming in, crouch blocking, moving back, forward. Like, it's buffered. So that small detail may have went completely over y'all heads. Like, people don't move for nothing. Like, there's a reason to everything. So while y'all playing neutral, moving back and forth, and you see that one button whiff, the moment you go to hit forward, you didn't already buff it. And all you have to do is a fireball. So basically, with all three of them options being said, my favorite two is two and three. Number one, you could just throw that out. You could throw that one out the window if you ask me. Like, I personally do not like the first one at all. Like, that's too many extra inputs for no reason. So basically, with just a little practice, you can honestly make this character work. You just got to get used to inputting it. So basically, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and run some matches, see if I can make it happen in live footage. But yeah. Looking forward. Bam. He ain't gonna keep jumping up. Oh, eh. Oh, eh. Oh, oh. No. Oh, he stood still, too. Oh, crap. Messed up. I kind of had a feeling he was going to do it. I just didn't want to believe it, sadly. Oh, why would you do that? So we're making a YouTube video earlier? Yeah, like somebody gave me that idea, so I just went on and just explained it. Bruh, that's the second time he's about to stand still. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a high chance he's going to flash me, bro. Alright, there we go. My dude trying to play some footsies? Yo, my dude jumped twice? That's not all the way true. You just, it's like, I play this game forever and a day too and I still lose. I just can't give up, bro. Oh, Lord. please, please press the button. Why you couldn't press the button? What's up, Blaze? I see you. Ah! Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. Ah. Eh. You gonna press a button right there for real? What's up, real Vinny? I see you. Bye. Where's Marty? Ah, there we go. Finally got it. He did. Guess not. I'm mad I dropped that combo. Yeah. I'm actually pretty tight about that. There we go. Miss Patricia the killer herself. Miss Patricia, you see how they tried to do me?
I don't. That's crazy how crouching medium doesn't link into uh. Crouching medium doesn't link into uh. Crouching jab like a three frame stopper. I still can't get over that. Bring that neck here, girl. Yeah. I say R oh, yeah. oh, What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is he gonna DP? Nah. Bring that neck here, girl. Oh, yeah. What up, nurse? So believe that going on with your body?